let's put this on that arm. Skyler Nelson is one very blessed kid. He died right here on this gym floor and managed to be brought back to life. I feel fortunate and I feel like I get a second chance. It was one week ago at West Jordan Middle School. Skyler was starting the school day in gym class. Puts his hands on his hips. It was about 8 o'clock in the morning. The students were warming up and running when suddenly... He just dropped. The dramatic scene was all caught on surveillance video. Skyler is the one in the white shirt. He's running strong when suddenly he slows down and then just drops. I rolled him over. He was gasping for air. His eyes were in the up in the top of his head. It was horrifying. It's uh, your worst nightmare. Principal Dixie Garrison then arrived on scene as someone called 911. It was a sight difficult to deal with, but one Garrison had to act quickly. I just can't believe his life was in our hands. He had actually, essentially, um, died right there uh, in our gym. He wasn't with us. And um, he was gone. He was gone. The pulse was hard to find. Eric Price, the vice principal, then arrives. Price then jumps into action and starts CPR. At that time, you know, the adrenaline kicks in and you just kind of do what you've been trained to do. And fortunately, just 10 days earlier, Price had just taken a CPR refresher course. It was definitely fresh on my mind, you know, for how, uh, how to, what to do. The school resource officer also helped Price with a CPR. Uh, knowing him especially, it, it, it affects you, but, um, you know, you have a job to do. Turns out Skyler was born with a heart defect that is genetic. He is now just minutes away from undergoing surgery to put a defibrillator inside of him. He's going to have a full recovery, and I'm so grateful. I'd like to say thank you very much, and I'm grateful, and God bless you.